Quite a Sunday in the gate, 10 games, lots of everything, and you get to see all of it in today's Daily KHL update. First off, Vladivostok, where Admiral has dropped her. Earlier in the first, Tractor get on the board. Konstantin Panov drops the puck for Jan Bolas and he scores in his second consecutive game. Nice wrister, 1-0 Tractor. Less than 3 minutes later, Andrei Sigarov finishes off a neat tic-tac-toe play as Nicholas Bergfors and Richard Gunke pick up the assists. Great goal by Admiral, 1-1. Early in the second now, Tractor on a power play. Darren Quinn takes a shot, Panov tips it and into the net it goes. Panov picks up his second point of the night and scores his 10th of the season to make it 2-1 Tractor. A little later, Konstantin Makarov gets the puck in the high slot and he goes for a snipe. What a shot by Makarov to tie it up. 2-2 now. Later in the period, Admiral Kiel on the penalty. Alexander Gorshkov carries the puck into the slot and scores a shorty. Admiral get their first lead of the night. 3-2. Third period now, Martin Ruzhka gets to the slot. Slava Slava puts the puck on net and Ruzhka tips it in. Classic. Ruzhka was his sixth and this one is going to shoot out. And it's Nicholas Bergfors who gets to be the hero of this one. He almost came to a complete stop, but still managed to put it in. That's Admiral's first win over Tractor in history. 4-3 Admiral shootout final. Let's head over to Nova Kuznets now, where Metalurg has snapped the gimmick. First period, Kuzni on a power play. Dmitry Maltsev takes a shot from on top of the right circle. That stop, but Ron Stoll still scores on a rebound. 1-0 Kuznets. Late in the period, Neftekimik tied up. Evgeny Rasitsky continues to impress on Neftekimik. He scores his second of the year and picks up his third point after joining the team. 1-1. Second period now, and Nikolai Sklodnichenko puts Kuzny back in the lead. He scores his second of the year on a power play, and Kuzny now lead 2-1. Moving on to the third, and Neftekimik make it a tie game once again. Timo Aronen beats Team Stapleton for his 14th of the season, and we tied it twos. This one is going to shoot out as well. Ansel Galimov scores the winner in this one for Kuzna and they take two points on home ice. 3-2 Kuzna shootout final. Next on the man is Sibir vs Lada. First period and home team gets on the board. Yunus Anlund scores his 13th of the year on a counter attack and Sibir lead 1-0 now. Late in the period, they double their lead. Patrick Hursley and David Ulstrup set up Dmitry Mona and he scores his seventh. 2 0 Sibir after 20 minutes of play. Early in the second, now Sibir in a power play. Patrick Hursley reminds everyone he has a hell of a shot. He nets his 11th from the high slot and Sibir now lead by three goals to none. A little later, Lada have a man advantage. Nis Baransov takes a shot and he finds the back of the net. That's his first of the night and Sibir lead by just two now. And later in the period, Baransov brings Lada within one as he scores another power play marker. That's his second of the night and third of the season. Should be a tight third period. Sibir restores the two goal margin just over six minutes in as Yarna Koskirano converts on a power play. In that's his tenth, while Dmitry Kugushev picks up his third assist of the night. 4 2 Sibir now. Late in the period, Dmitry Agurtsov makes it a one goal game again as he scores his second of the season, but that's as close as they're gonna get. Sibir still takes three points in this one. 4-3 Sibir final. We're in Nizhny Novgorod where Vitez faced Torpedo. And it doesn't go well for Vitez. Less than two minutes in, Torpedo opened up the scoring. Sakari Salminen tries to send it to the far post and gets a power play goal instead himself. 1-0 Torpedo. Less than a minute later, Alexei Petelaev takes a hard shot from the blue line, hits Vladimir Galuzin in front and the puck ends up in the net. 2-0 Torpedo. Harry Sattery swapped for Ivan Lesudin after that goal, but the onslaught continues. Just 13 seconds later, Kirill Knazov takes a wrist shot, Lesudin has a piece of it, but the puck still finds its way into the net. 3 0 Torpedo, and we're not even 3 minutes deep. Halfway through the period, Nikita Filatov and Vadim Krustislabotsov go for a classic give and go, and Krustislabotsov makes his stance of the year. 4 0 Torpedo, this one is in the bag already. Late in the period, Vitis get a goal back as Slava Sladuchin puts his 11th, but that's the only market they're gonna get in this one. Kirill Knazov scores his second of the night and second of the season as well for that matter, midway through the final frame set in the final score at 5-1 Torpedo. This one was open and close case. Our headliner of the night is Red Army vs Dynamo Moscow. These are always great to watch. Early in the first, the blue and white get on the board. Maxim Karpov scores his first of the night with a great wrister. 1-0 Dynamo Moscow. And that's when Dynamo start to get into an injury problem. 
First, Maxim Pistushko goes hard into the boards and he has to leave the ice. Late in the period, Kaspers Dugovic awkwardly lands on his back and he's hurt. Dynamo lose two guys from the top line. And a minute later, Alexei Tsvitkov gets pinned to the boards and that doesn't tickle either. Dynamo lose three players to injuries in the first period of play, although Tsvitkov and Dalgavich did return to action after that. Second period now and we get to see a classic hip check by Andrei Muranov. He sends Alexander Radulov flying. Radulov continued to play, but he was reported injured after the game and he may miss the upcoming Euro Hockey Tour tournament in Sochi. Late in the period, Evgeny Artukin goes for the kill. Gleb Koragin almost escapes getting hit, but Artukin still gets him knee on knee and he's gonna get tossed for that. Five in a game for Nien is the call. Third period now and Maxim Karpov scores his second of the night and 11th of the year. Great passing play by Dynamo and they lead 2-0 now. Red Army get it right back though. Jan Mursek and Simon Yalmerson set up Demir Jeferov from the slot and he nets his fifth of the season to make it 2-1. And that's the way it's gonna end. Dynamo ended Sochi's 10 game winning streak and now they ended Red Army's 13 game winning streak. They're hot. 2-1 Dynamo Moscow final. Let's head over to Minsk Belarus now where Dynamo Minsk holds Boris. First period and home team draws the first blood. Jonathan Chichu scores his first of the night with a nice clapper from the right circle. 1-0 Minsk. Late in the period, Dynamo's top line doubles the lead. Matt Allison feeds Charles Lenglet in the slot and he sends it in. 2-0 Minsk now. Second period and Boris scoring a power play to slice Dynamo's lead in half. Konstantin Rudenko with the goal, Nick Antropov with the assist. 2-1. Moving on to the third now and Boris tie it up. Oscar Bartulis puts the puck on net, it's redirected by Dmitry Uper and it's a goal. Uper with his third and we tied it twos. Just over a minute later, Dynamo get their lead back. Charles Lenglet returns the favor to Matt Allison, setting him up in the slot and Allison has his 16th to make it 3-2 for the home team. Less than three minutes later, Dynamo on a power play, Nick Balin takes a long shot, rebound follows and Jonathan Chichu scores his second of the night and 16th of the year. 4-2 Dynamo now. And late in regulation, Paul Shikura feeds captain Alexei Kaluzhny and he scores. Chichu picks up an assist on that play as well. And that's a wrap. Jonathan Chichu enjoys a three-point night and so do Dynamo. 5-2 Dynamo means final. Zagreb Croatia is the side of our next game. Medvedchak hosts Salavat Ulayev. Halfway through the first, Salavat opened up the score and Evgeny Skachkov has his fifth of the year as Kirill Kultsov picks up his 25th assist. 1-0 Salavat. Let's keep ahead to the third now. Bill Thomas steals the puck shorthanded, gets on a breakaway, but he can't beat Vladimir Sohatsky. Still 1-0 Salavat. That's about to change though. Igor Dubrovsky scores from the left circle. That's his fifth of the season as well and Salavat leads by two now. Shortly after that, James Wright sends one home from the doorstep as Villa Lena draws the assist. Shortly after that, James Wright sends one home from the doorstep as Villa Lena draws an assist. Still a one goal game and there's some time left on the clock. But it's gonna be Salvat who gets the next goal. Andrei Zubarev scores his second of the year on an empty net and that's gonna do it. Salavat takes three points on the road. 3 1 Salavat final. And just a few more scores to tell you about. Yuger beat Amor 3 1. That's their fifth win in the last six games. Atlant beat Avangard 3 1 and reported that Andrej Nemitz and Andreas Tankers would join Red Army after the game. And finally, Locomotive hand out Sochi their second blowout loss in a row, beating them 9 2. Wow, that's a score you don't see every day. And that's it for your daily KHL update. Just one game this Monday to look forward to, but it's Slovan versus Jokuric. Don't miss it. My name is Andreas Sachinka. See you guys soon.